Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm recording this video at 10 p.m. It's literally 10 p.m., but we're doing a video because there's a lot to talk about on this game. There's a lot to talk about. It's the night before Winter Wild Cards 3. It does not feel like the night before Christmas uh, because Christmas was like three days ago already. Uh, guys, thanks for all the support on the channel. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Um, your boy is very, very much into trading again. Uh, it's addicting, but you know what? The gameplay this year is so, like, it's just so unrewarding, man. I just feel like generally the gameplay this year, like, I I have moments where I'm like, oh, it's playable. Nah, it's just, it's not it for me, man. So I think it's really reignited my love for trading. So everyone on this channel that, you know, has watched me over the years and stuff, I, I really am enjoying it again. I'm, I'm, I think it wouldn't be a bad play for some of you guys that maybe just casually watch the channel to try to go for it as well. Uh, because it's it's going to be good to fundraise for Team of the Year. The packs, everything like that's going to be crazy. And in the span of a little bit, like a couple weeks, three weeks, we've made so many coins. Um, we're going to go through and do a lot of stuff tonight because I want to talk a few investments going forward. Um, that's a big deal for me tonight. I want to go through and, and do that. And then we might end the video on the second account and do like a store pack or two. It'll be a usual chill video. And uh, we're going to talk about everything and anything, kind of what I've been focusing on, what I just did. And then just kind of going through, and I want to talk about future stuff because there's things like fodder, team of the week. So I just want to look and analyze everything. If you enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up. Um, and other than that, we're going to keep moving. So I bought a bunch of Aussie men's yesterday. Um, no, sorry, Tuesday. And, you know, team of the week goes out of packs on Wednesdays. This team of the week is so bad compared to the last team of the week. But uh, in terms of the rise, it was great. I bought him at like 56. I'm not going to talk too much about these because it's already in the past. Um, and it's not. it's just not as relevant anymore. But Ozimin's up to 69. Gucci went up to 72. Baran, I, I said in a video, is going to go up 50K. I sold him at 260. He's 300. People are doing the Evo. Kim and Jay is up to 81 now. Um, and I got Modric Hills at 62. Earlier today, I picked up a couple cards, even like in the afternoon, even after the market was up. I bought Florian Virts at like 110. He's a very rare card. If you haven't started, if you haven't traded with his Ultimate Dynasties team, I recommend it, man. These cards are really rare. Um, they just seem to do really well. And uh, is that the last of the Kims? The Kim Min Jays, is that it? Or do we have, uh, do we still have more? Uh, no, I think that's it. That's all it. So I've got a couple cards that I picked up earlier. I haven't jumped onto the market in a few hours, so let's just see where the market is at. Um, I've got this Ansu Fati at 240. Um, I think the highest, you know, I see this overnight at 257. So I'm going to try to sell them for like maybe 260 overnight. And I made an investment. I made an investment in Winter Wild Cards 3. I just came off making a good investment in the last team of the week. And I've been looking at this team, and I said, hey, there's a couple players I like. Balde is one of them. He's actually down at 70K now, so he went back down. But, you know, I like this a lot. And the reason, and I'm not saying if you watch the video, you got you to gotta buy this dude. I don't necessarily think that's going to be how it works. But I picked him up because, you know what? His gold card is really good. He's four-star, four-star. His links are incredible. And uh, he's got a great play style plus for a fullback. And he can play either fullback. That's why this year, in my opinion, Cancelo has been doing so well. In all of his special cards, they do really well because he can play either position. I think that's a big deal. So I bought like one, two, three, four. I like fullbacks a lot as investments. I bought six for about 70K. So it's a bit of an investment. And then earlier today on the market rise, I picked up a couple other cards who hopefully, what's Govu at right now? This Govu has been great to trade with. It obviously makes sense. He's French and uh, he's got the hero links. He is uh, 175, 178, and 182. So that was probably mine. Did those ones sell? 178 is on the market and 175 sold so we ideally want this one to sell once this one sells we could potentially sell ours and did the game just freeze i feel like that was almost about to happen it didn't happen so we've got those two govus and um i've got a reese and then uh and then i've got balde so nothing too crazy here right but that's currently where we're at but like the account just to let you guys know like right govus together is 350 reese is gonna make me like 400 and then we got balde uh we've got what i guess we got seven at about 70 so that's 400 plus we're doing some quick math what the hell is seven times seven man that's not good that i don't even know that um that's probably going to be 49 so let's say that we're at i'm doing the math 890 and then we have ansu fati so we're killing it we're definitely over 2 million at this point which is incredible we've been making a lot of coins last team of the week was really good to us so now it's about what's next right you can see on this video i've got 1.1 mil so i'm 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 what happened to my web app here? Guys, what happened to my web app? Seriously. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, we're here. We're back. Um, so that that's like, okay, what's the next investment? Now, this team is the easy investment, right? This team is going out of packs tomorrow. Now, apparently, 
I'm not 100% sure, but I think that I think that some of the cards still stay in packs. Now, I liked Alex Morgan at like 300, but at this point, she's too inflated. Um, but I, I wouldn't be surprised. There's a chance that I feel like this card could go up a very decent amount. We'll see, but... And then Rafinha, interesting. But for me, I was I was thinking lower budget. I think Enzo, we might see Enzo do pretty well too. He's going to depend on like center mid Evos. But I, th I just think Enzo is a really popular player right now. And Chelsea's obviously starting to play a little bit better. So I think the hype is really good there. Um, oh my God, man. Guys, these menus, bro. It's like... You, yeah. We, do, we did this a month ago, man. We, we were, like, trying to do a trading video. And the menu start doing this crap again, bro. I'm like, I don't even know what to do. But Enzo, it's, like, 75. I'm really, really, really looking at that. That's an interesting one. And then I want to talk just... We're going to talk about everything tonight, guys. So other things I want to talk about. We've obviously got other players in packs right now. Um, Alaba's in packs. I think he goes out of packs, like, maybe Saturday. I want to I wanna talk about some of the icons because some of the icons are are definitely going to be, you know, going out of packs. And there's a chance some of those guys go up. Um, but how do we do this? We have to go to FC24. We probably go to, uh, is there a new players tab here? FC4, new players, boom. Okay, so this is obviously team of the week. And here we go. So we've got Raquel May, right? So I don't know. I think he goes, I don't know if he goes out of packs. I think he goes out of packs on, I don't think it's tomorrow. I mean, if he goes out of packs tomorrow, he's going to go up a lot. He's five star, five star. I like this one a lot. But I think it's Saturday, and I want to wait for some promo supply tomorrow. I think if we look at when this guy came into the game, he came into the game on Monday. Is that true? Monday. Monday. So he came into the game on Monday. Um, John Barnes, this guy, I'm telling you, these icons, guys, are going to go up. It's going to be the easiest coins of your life. Now, I'm, I don't think these cards, uh, I don't think these cards go out of packs until... I think whenever they drop, so I think it'll be a full week because I think, you know, he's 68, 63. So, but this I love. I love, I think if you want free coins, you got to look at some of these guys. I don't really know if it's in the whole like Grimaldo. I mean, Grimaldo, these guys, Balde, these guys are going to go up. They're already up. So you're risking like, will they keep going up? They probably will keep going up, but I'm, I'm more interested in some of these guys. I would not buy now, but these guys interest me. Even like Doku, even though he's expensive, I like him. I think he could go up. Um, and so I would be looking at some of the mini release players. That's where I'm. That's where my money is, um, to be honest. Gary, Gary is wow, Gary. And we have Van Basten. So he went in packs last Friday, right? Is he? Uh, he's about the same price. He went in packs last Friday. He's been about the same price. But do we think this is a guy that's gonna go up much? I don't know, man. I feel like people don't really use Van Basten, um, that much. I just I don't know. That's one of those ones that if we wanted to for the video, like I, I need to go through the other screen because otherwise I'm gonna freeze it. We could see and maybe we've got like a small chance that he goes up, but I, I don't know if I feel like amazing about him going up. I don't know if he's gonna go up a lot. Um maybe, maybe he goes up a bit. Mukieli, oh my god, I packed Mukieli on one of the mini release days. He is gonna be free coins. I don't know what his price is right now. He's been the same price all week. He's been a hundred. This guy is free coins. So look at some of those cards, guys, if you want to make some I'm telling you, easy coins, those are going to be your go-to. Um, you, you guys have some really a good opportunity to make some coins with, with Winter Wild Cards. They will go up, uh, and it's about the timing. And, and really, we got to be looking probably tomorrow and, and tomorrow evening at some of these guys. We're going to watch this. Van Basten at 135 and 120 as well. So we're going to add all three of those for this video because you know what? Those prices I really like. This guy's going out of packs tomorrow. So you know what? If I could get a really cheap price for him i'm 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 in we're gonna do live investing and you know what i think with the channel too it'll be nice because we'll be able to kind of like reflect and see what we pick these guys up for and then what we eventually go ahead and, and we look at them as as what we're selling them for so let's add a couple of these even the 140 will i be still waffling in 21 minutes i really hope not now we've also got you know there, there's an argument somebody was asking me earlier like do you think michael owen goes up do you think um Ian Rush goes up. I mean, these guys have been discard the entire week. I don't think so. I just don't. I just don't think people are using these cards. Um, Ian Rush, no one really uses him. I feel like there's a lot of center mids that are better. So I just don't even think he's gonna go up. They don't really do much for Cam. There's a chance over time they could eventually go up. If you guys want like a really low risk club stock, club stock Cherokee I, and Eze, I think any of the cheap cards. Because at some point. I'm telling you right now, the EA content team is going to give Cherokee an Evo, and he's going to be the craziest card ever. People were going crazy for this dude's Evo when he was even worse than this card as a 75. If he ever is available in an Evo, he's going to be like 45K because he's 5'5". I mean, people are just going to go crazy for him. 
So watch out for that. Um, and I, and I'm serious. I, I really believe that. So seriously, watch out for that. That, that could be a serious, easy investment for you guys to go for. And then I think the mini release Berardi, Isak, uh, we had Ryan Kent, Doomfreeze. Doomfreeze is down at discard. These guys will, will, will reassess for now. Um, I think, I think they dropped Mukieli. I think they dropped Mukieli on Saturday too. So he's about the same price. We're going to watch out for him tomorrow. So that's that. That's the winter wildcards team. I wanted to discuss those um those players and just kind of give you guys the insight on you know what i think that's my real my real feel there now i wanted to just tell you guys something real quick today ea dropped um immobile and the reason i wanted to talk about this immobile is that i think at some point i'm starting to look at this game entirely differently i need to complete this spc too the evos the recent evos on this game has made like alaba and cancelo the, it's made these guys so unthinkably crazy like, so crazy that I, I'm looking at SBCs. Like, there's a lot of SBCs, even this Immobile. It's a decent card to start with, but I probably just would have passed. I'm starting to think with my dupes and stuff now instead of a lot of these gamble packs. I still will be doing them, but I'm going to be really starting to look a little bit more. I've got to get this Balotelli done. Like, this guy with an Evo to five-star skills? Oh, my God, bro. You know what I mean? Power shot plus five-star weak foot. So, it's like, right now, it's not the craziest card, but I am starting to look at FIFA as a whole EAFC just differently now because of the way Evos are going. Some of these guys with Evos just can be the most unthinkably crazy cards you've ever seen. So I'm starting to kind of, that's something I'm starting to really look at. Um, other things to talk about. Tomorrow the icon is going to refresh. Um, that's really what we can expect tomorrow. Um, there's probably, you know, there's going to be a new Team 3, all that stuff, right? You might have a little panic in the morning. If there is panic, I probably like it. I think the market's going to go nice and high tomorrow night. A lot of people going to play Weekend League. Um, and um, I'm actually eyeing that Van Basten. I want to see if I can get him. What I wanted to talk with you guys about is uh, it's kind of just fodder for a minute and Team of the Weeks and stuff like that because, you know, we've had a lot going on with the Team of the Weeks. Team of the Weeks, we're going to go back and we're going to just look at, like, Discard. Uh, I want to look at Discard Team of the Weeks from Team of the Week, let's just say 14, and let's look at the trends together. So right now the cheapest Team of the Week is about 37K. So last week, they're all about the same price. Basically, they spiked to 40K this week on the year interview player pick. So what we learned about that is that anytime there's a crazy SBC, the 8310 is not going to do it anymore. It's got to be like a player pick or something insane like that. What we learned about that basically is that if there's any point that the team of the week's going to go up even more. I don't really like team of the weeks at the current price. I think if you're going to be paying for team of the weeks to invest in at 37K, um, you are absolutely crazy. But what I do like is that I think there's some money in fodder. I know you you watching me say that. You're like, did he just say that? Because you guys know me. I'm not really like, I'm not really a fodder trader. I mean, that's not really what I'm always doing. But I'm going to try to get Van Basten at this price. If I get him at this price, he looks really rare. Um, but that that's where I'm kind of starting to look at the market a little bit. And I'm interested. Now, I think 85s the other day, I think they went down under 4K. And I think they're up a little bit now. They're up a ton. Uh, they're up a ton. So they, they, they went down the other day to like 4K. And I think just due to the, the rise now of like what we're seeing here, they went down all the way down to 4K last Sunday and Monday. The year in review drops. People do it again today. They're at 5.5. Five. Watch out for fodder tomorrow. It just seems like there's now a weekly kind of trend where fodder is getting pretty low on like Sundays. I mean, if you even look back, it, it's obviously situational. But I feel like if there's any spike in fodder, guys, it's always going to be on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. That's when EA, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is dropping the crazy SBCs. So I think 85s now are probably too high. But I still I still think, you know, if you can get in at some point of those 85s and you can get back in under like 5K, I think just long term it's going to be a really good hold. Um, let's see where 84s are at right now. 84s are up quite a bit too. 84s were like I think under 2 but even still, man, like even even this, even 84s for like 2K is still crazy. The, a lot of the year they've been over 3K. So that's something where if you're on a lower budget, that's somewhere you guys could look. Um, really for me, the thing I noticed though, it's not just really that fodder. It's like when you start to get to the 86s. These cards are all still criminally low. Um, the price of the, these cards is just crazy. These guys are all 7, 6K. They're not even selling and they haven't moved much. So if you're late to the party... 86s would be a really good look. Um, we had a point where, you know, December 10th, 86s were 20K. So watch out for the 86s that, you know, th again, they were three times the price. 
just a little while ago. And I'm not saying to invest in tonight, but if you got some free time over the weekend, the real money I'm seeing right now is in the higher rated fodder. These 87s, these 86s, man, these are way too low. Way too low. So if you got the time, you want to go ahead and club stock. I mean, it's the lowest they've been all year. This should be free coins. You buy into these guys, you put them in your club, you forget about them for a little bit, and uh, it's probably going to be free money. It, it should be free money. I mean, 11K right now for an 87 is just such a joke. So it's worth a club stock. It doesn't mean tomorrow that they're going to go up a ton, but I think if you wait a while, you'll probably see some nice results with that investment. Now, we did actually win that first Van Basten, which is very nice. Um, so we're in at 143. I don't know if we're going to do well. Uh, we'll see. Maybe there's going to be some panic. Uh, for the new team tomorrow. I don't really think so. Eder Militao is down at 700k right now. Um, that seems pretty low. I don't know, man. I kind of want to I kind of want to pick that up. Is he on the market? Flippin just updated Eder Militao at 700k. But I'm like, oh my god. Did it did it really just do this right now? Like right now is the time for it. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. I want to see if that's on the market, but now I'm definitely not gonna be able to, man. They gotta fix these menus. We're two resets. Bro, we paid a hundred dollars for this game, and I'm doing two resets an hour. Not even an hour. It's been 16 minutes. Um, but yeah, it's always tough to leverage when you gotta pick up these promo cards because you're like, do they rise even more in the morning, or do people start to panic because they got that new promo team coming out? Let me just look real quick at that Eder Millie Tower 700, and then we'll end the video with a store pack on a second. I right now, I just don't have it in me, man. I'm overtired. I gotta get some rest. I do want to pick up some of the fodder, though. I, I think that the fodder is a really good look, especially I'm looking at that price at 87, 88. Oh, my God. At any point of EA drop a crazy SBC, um, we're going to see some serious... Uh, we're going to see some serious potential with making coins uh, off the fodder. But for now, I think I'm just going to chill. Yeah, that got bought. I definitely missed him. Oh, my God. That's so annoying. You know what? Just for the culture, for the video, we're going to pick up just a couple of these 87s. Look, they, they could go way lower. But, you know, we're just at a price right now where it's like, I, I got to get in, man. I got to get in on some of these cards because I'm looking at the market. And I'm just like, there's no way. There's no way 87 should be this low. It's just crazy. 10.5. I just put a 10.5. 10.5. You know what? We do have time for this. I'm seeing these prices like I got to buy a couple, man. This is just, it's too tempting. But that is crazy, that price. 10.5. Like, What? What on earth is that price for an 87? All right, let's see what Odegaard is. He's supposed to be the cheapest, 11K. So we're going to stash him. Of course, we already have him. That's fine. We're going to... This is not really my style, guys, but you know what? I'm liking the prices. Rolfo, we will be there. 11K for an 87, we will be there. And you know what's really, what's really kind of like made this all happen, in my opinion... EA, EA's been dropping the 8811, right? And people just for that pack, like, it's just, it's, it's, it's hurt a lot of demand for the market because people are like, oh, I can get a guaranteed 8811. You know, I don't even need to, it, it's lowered the cost of a lot of these SBCs for people. So, yeah. All right, we're going to end the video. We're going to go on to the second account, see if we can get anything. Uh, you know how it goes, guys. All right, guys, we're not going to do it because I got to reset my password. It's going to take a while. So, sorry about that. And, uh, yeah. See you guys in the video soon. Peace.